Hello everyone. Welcome to the lectures on Katia V5. Our topic for the day is uh, Boolean operation in Katia V5. You must have heard about the Boolean operations in mathematics algebra. We have some operations add. We have some operation like subtract. These are the Boolean operation we have in mathematics algebra. The similar kind of Boolean operations we have in Katia V5 and especially in the part design environment. What exactly it does? It allows us to add, remove or intersect different different bodies to form the final part that we want to create. What we do is we create different different bodies and we apply boolean operations between those bodies and by this boolean operation we try to get the final result that we want so let's have a look at what exactly boolean operation is what does it require and how we can perform the boolean operation using Katia v5 starting with before boolean operation what are the things you need to know before starting or before going for the boolean operation first thing comes is the part design features you must have knowledge of part design features that are required to create the bodies second comes multiple bodies or multi body concept we should be aware about the multi body concept how we can create the multiple bodies and uh, why we create those multiple bodies and then comes copy paste of multiple bodies and copy paste special of those bodies these are two terms that we have in Kitty v5 so we will first start with the part design features then we will move on to multi body concept then we will move on to copy paste and uh, copy paste special of those bodies after this our bodies in Katia V5 part design will be ready for applying boolean operation then we will see what are the boolean operations we have how we can apply those boolean operations and finally we will be getting the desired results so the part design features these are some of the part design features that are required to be known before going for boolean operations because in the boolean operation you will be creating the bodies just like we used to create part body and to create that we will need these features so like uh, we have sketch based features where we use the sketches to add or remove the material in different different manners we have dress up features where we use these features to get different uh, types of operations like we we can get the fillets we can get the chamfer we can uh, shell it we can apply draft on that we have some reference elements anywhere we need some reference point reference line or reference plane or i can say datum points datum lines and datum plane then we will be using the toolbar reference elements and some of the transformation features which uh, helps us in visualization and uh, which helps us in increasing our productivity of uh, modeling a particular part so the basic knowledge of these features are required because the same thing we are going to do for creating different different bodies next comes multi body concept what exactly we do in boolean operation is we create different different bodies and we apply operations on them as shown over here in the left side figure you can see there are simple simple bodies shown at the bottom you can see three cylinders uh, if you will see from the right hand side then one cube is there and then one sphere is there these are uh, i can say the five bodies i have which uh, i can use for the boolean operations these are the five bodies i have say i'll give them name one this will be say second this will be say third 
this will be fourth and this will be the fifth body I have and between these bodies I am applying boolean operation say over here there is one operation applied the resultant of this will be this body so I am giving this one name as A then I will apply another operation so uh, I will write here A will be body 4 plus body 5 this will be the result similarly 3 and A I will apply one more operation so this will be the resultant of that so I will write over here 3 plus A what I have done I have applied the addition between these two bodies similarly body 1 and body 2 these two are intersected so whatever the common result between these two body will be the final result wherever the material is common in both the bodies that will be my result in case of intersect then say I'll give this name as body B now the final result of body B minus body this one will be my result so this is how I get the results what I had done in this case there are simple simple geometries created and different different bodies created and the multiple bodies are used operations between them are used to get the final result so whether your geometry whether your model is complex or simple it doesn't matter if you are using the multi-body concept then you will have to use different different bodies you will have to apply the boolean operation on them and uh, you will get the result in this case yes we have simple bodies available similarly if i'll see uh, you'll see the example number two so in that we have two bodies body one and body two body one is uh, say the green one body two is this the black one now from the top if i will see i will be able to see the eye section from the side if i'll see i will see one uh, another section and intersection of both i am getting the result you can see on the right hand side this is the result i have creating this result using our traditional features like a sketch based feature it is quite difficult to get the result but using boolean operation what i can do i will be able to create one body say the white one i will create i section i'll apply pad on that four holes and some fillets in the body 2 i will be creating one curve i will take offset of that make it close loop and i can pad on that later on i will apply the fillets and finally i will intersect both the bodies to get the desired result this is what your multi body concept is whatever the complex shapes are you can get the result by creating easy sketches or easy bodies we don't have to use much features or much complex features or shapes we will be creating easy shapes to get the complex result this is what your multi body concept is the same we will see in the software so let us have a look at multi body concept in katia v5 software in this we will be covering how to create the multiple bodies how those bodies behave where exactly we have to create those bodies and then later on we will shift on to copy paste and copy paste special of those bodies so let's have a look at the multi body concept in the software for the same i would go into the software and uh, i will start creating those bodies start mechanical design part design i will prefer start mechanical design part design in the starting it will ask me for the part name so let's say i will give it as boolean and i'll say okay so the boolean part name is there and i have the tree available i'll just arrange the toolbar as per my own convenience yes now i will start working with this 
so as per this we have to create five bodies we had decided so i will uh, start creating five bodies one two three four five and then later on we will see how we can apply the boolean operation these five bodies i will create at the origin only and without maintaining the dependency between each other and uh, one more thing that i will focus that these bodies are created in the same shape in the same plane as they are right now so i would go into the software and i will start creating the bodies yes so to create multiple bodies we have to define or we have to insert the bodies in the tree for that i will prefer insert body i would again go for insert body so there will be a body available you can right click and you can maintain the properties of particular body say in the feature properties you can give the name to the body whatever name you want to give let's say i will give it a name as body a even in the graphics i can go and i can define a different color to the body so that we can actually visualize properly so i will say define a different color and i'll say okay to this so body a is defined in work object i'll go for a sketch selecting the plane say okay i'll be creating the sketch say 50 or i'll keep it 30 exit and i will apply pad on this i will keep it around the origin only and i will be creating all the bodies around the origin only so this is what body number one i have or body a i have i will insert another body right click on that i will go for properties i will give it name as body b naming you can give as per your own convenience which is most understood to you and on the another plane I will create the same sketch say I will go for a sketch a circle of dia 30 and I will apply pad on that 50 mm mirrored extend like this so these are the two bodies I have body a body B similarly inserting another body say giving name and color just for the understanding I will give it body C now I will select the another plane so I will select this one on this plane I will create the sketch at any point if you feel confused due to this as i am creating on the origin at any time if you are getting confused so you can hide other bodies at any time whether you are in the command or whether you are outside the command doesn't matter you can any time hide other bodies okay for that right click and hide show you can use it i will insert the body number four right click properties i can define different different colors naming as per my own convenience so say again a red color i will oh sorry red i had already defined so i will change it see now i'll create that square so the square will be centered one say 50 50 
like this. And lastly, body number E. So in that, I will be creating the SPR. Okay. For that, I will select one plane. If you're getting confused, uh, I can hide the bodies so that it will not create any problem and uh, it will not take any dependencies. So, a circle having diameter of 80. This is as per the requirement. I am creating it. And uh, what I will do, I will trim the extra portion. The closed loop sketch is there. And I can shaft it about the axis. So, I will get the sphere. Now you can see the bodies are available. I'll just make changes in that. Uh, radius 40 I had taken. This was 50 by 50. Okay, I'll need to increase. I'll need to change the dimensions. Okay, for now I'll keep it like this. So this is how I have created the required things. No, sorry. For that result, I am just adjusting the dimensions. Because I need specifically that result only. Yeah. So like this, I will be uh, creating. And I will get the suitable result after this. So what I had done, I had created five different different bodies at the same location, I would say at this origin and you can see these bodies have some simple features right now all these bodies have single single features only but there can be multiple as well and uh, this is how i have arranged my bodies for the final result that i want this is what your multi body concept is that to create a part you are creating multiple bodies in which we have some small small features or some small small portion just similar to this we have some small small portions and then we will be applying the operations boolean operations between them this is what multi body concept is later on in the next stage we will cover how we can apply the boolean operation on that.